Welcome to NCC's CNC lathe programming setup and operation. This session we're going to talk about the G70, G71 OD turning cycle. You can see here in machining cycles, we're in the Haas productivity lathe manual. You can see some of uh, the can cycles we'll be using. We're going to focus on these two right here. This is the most common. So what this cycle allows you to do is rough and finish OD turns. For instance, if you're making this part with this profile here, obviously you can't just program from point P into your part and gouge all that material out in one cut. You're probably at max depth of cut going to be able to take 50 thousandths of time, step down, and machine that in reality. So it's not really that complicated if you know what you're doing. G70 is the finish portion of the program, G71 being the roughing cycle. And there's two basic types of G70, G71. So the first type is type 1, and type 1 allows you only to move the X in one direction. So you can see on this part, this is a good example for a type 1 in that the program diameter keeps on increasing. So if I look down in here in the program, ahead of time we've positioned to a starting point for this can cycle, x.3, so that's going to be out here, z.1. That's outside the can cycle, so that's actually where this can cycle is going to return to before it comes back in. And then turn on CSS and now we're instating the G71 OD roughing. So this P and Q these are the blocks that define the geometry within this cycle. So you can see that no other block has a block number to it with the exception of 10 and get on here block 20. So between 10 and 20 and including them this is defining the geometry to be machined. So back to the type 1, type 2. This is a type 1 and I know this because there is only an X in the P block. So if there was an XZ here then this would be a type 2 roughing. The difference type 2 roughing allows you to do both well, I should say change your X value. Your Z value, regardless, is always going to have to stay in the same direction. So, for instance, if I make a move here in my CAN cycle, I can't make a move back Z positive. It'll all have to be Z negative. However, in a Type 2 uh, G71, you'll be able to have increasing and decreasing X values. You have to make sure then that if it is a type 2 roughing cycle, in other words you have increasing and decreasing X values within that cycle, that you have two axes of change here. In other words this would be the X and a Z regardless if there were any movement in Z at this point. So if you look at this example you can see then that tool nose radius compensation is turned on at this point. So it moved to from this position to this position while turning on tool nose radius compensation. So let's look more at more of the G70. P10, Q20, U. This means how much stock is going to be left in the X axis to finish. And W, how much stock will be left in the Z axis for finish and the D of point 0.1, this is the depth of cut, so in other words each pass is going to have a hundred thousandths depth of cut and obviously the feed rate, feed per rev. So then it takes and it roughs this all down and then comes back G70 and finishes it. So whatever was left in the U and W on the G71, the G70 
just runs P10, Q20, runs that geometry and finishes that stock. So if you were to look through this stock, sorry, geometry, the first thing I would probably do is just, and you should get in the habit of doing this, program it to come rapid to a start point, which is going to be right here. So start point, move to the face of your part if you want to include the face. Perhaps it's already been faced, so you could start even here while turning on tool nose radius compensation. And then you're just going to program your path, radii and chamfers and all, and then move. You can see the X in diameter here is 2.8, but they're moving out to a, an X value of 3 inches, which is less than, keep in mind, the start point, or equal to the start point actually in this case and they cancel to those radius compensation. So just like when you use cutter comp on the mill, you turn it on, you use it, you cancel it. Otherwise you're going to have conflicting problems with TNR. So you should know the difference between type 1 and type 2. You should know how to come in the code and tell the difference between type 1 and type 2 where there would be an application difference between a type 1 and a type 2. Type 1 can only go in one direction the X increasing or decreasing. Type 2 you can go both directions. And that is the basics of the roughing and finishing G70, G71 can cycle. So again, start point in state tool nose radius compensation, just run all the code the same way you would. Cancel cutter comp. Then you can see it's run through this. At the end of the program, they're moving home. And then M30 end program rewind.